Harren Hall is supposed to be this absolutely vast, vast castle, which is a total ruin. It was kind of very kind of clear cut at the beginning that you know they wanted to have a sense of a lot of history in there. Well, the idea is that the dragons breathed on it and it sort of imploded, sort of just disintegrated. And I went off to Cambodia at the beginning of this year and I went to Angkor Wat and kind of know, I knew I had to kind of get some new food into my mind. And I think there's a strong influence of that. You kind of get great broken walls and loads of vines and creepers and all the rest of it. Building sets that are ruins uh, is doubly difficult. I mean, it's just to create a wall that's flat is, you know, it's a problem. But once you start cutting holes in it, you suddenly have to see the depth of every cut and what's beyond. So it kind of was a very complex set to put together. We've then brought in loads of rubble below that, so you get this sense that they've crumbled and chunks of it are on the floor. Also to get a sense of mystery about it so that people can be running and you're not going to quite go where they're going to go. So we're just looking for things that keep making people feel haunted and a bit sort of arrested. And also, again, if you put a few those things in then when visual effects kind of do the bigger picture there's lots of excuses for them to put strange things in as well. David was keen to make it as nasty looking at an area as possible where the, the prisoners are kept so that's quite grim and bloody with heads chopped off and rats scurrying about people chained up and tied up and, and tortured. The guards and whatever are new arrivals, so they're making use of a space that's there. So it's very much a case of kind of making it look like it was kind of being just hammered together from whatever they could find. Because the idea is most of the wood in the Harren Hall has been burnt away over the years. So there's very little left. And, you know, a lot of burnt timbers and trying to salvage a lot of old wood, so it had a lot of character to it.